Hi and welcome to the Damal Cookery Channel. So today I'm doing a really simple Indian curried rice dish. So this is a basic curried rice recipe, almost the start of a biryani, but because it doesn't have any chicken or vegetables in there, it's ideal as a side dish. The spice blend we're going to be using from the Damalot range is the curry mixed powder. And if you don't have access to the Damalot range of products, then as a bare minimum you're going to need about a teaspoon of really mild curry powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of turmeric and a little bit of white pepper. As usual, a full list of ingredients will be given at the end of the video, so let's have a look at those ingredients now and anything else we're going to need for today. So our ingredients for this pilau rice recipe, I've got some basmati rice, so this is enough for at least two people. So in this jug, I've measured out 200 millilitres of basmati rice. If you have uh, weighing scales, then that equates to about 80 grams of basmati rice per person, so 160 grams of basmati rice. Going to be boiling the kettle for this one, so in this jug I'm going to be measuring out 400 millilitres of boiling water, so exactly double the amount of water to rice per volume. Also got 10 grams of the Malat curry mix powder and 4 tablespoons of a good quality vegetable oil. So our first job, got a bowl with some clean cold water in there. We add in our rice. And I'm just going to leave this rice now to soak in this clean cold water for five minutes. So that will wash off any surface starch on there. So our rice has been soaking for five minutes. As you can see the water's gone very cloudy. That's the surface starch which I was telling you about. So next thing to do is I'm going to take a sieve, drain off the rice and then just rinse the rice under cold water just for 30 seconds or so. So the next step, I've got a saucepan which has a tight fitting lid. Placed our vegetable oil into the saucepan, bringing that up to heat now. So this is over a medium heat. And in goes the curry mix powder. Just going to cook that through for a couple of minutes. So the next thing to do is to place in our drained rice. And we just want to cook this through for just about three or four minutes. It's at this point that you need to place the kettle on. So you've got that boiling water exactly when you need it. Okay, so this is what we've got after about three or four minutes. We place our 400 millilitres of boiling water into the pan. So we're now going to use a cooking timer. We're going to set the timer for 10 minutes on the lowest heat possible, just cooking on that very gentle simmer with the lid on. Do not take the lid off at all within that 10 minutes. Okay, so that's our 10 minutes up. The next thing I'm going to do is I've just turned the heat out on the pan. We're now going to leave it again with the lid on. Don't take the lid on off at all. We're just going to leave this rice now for two minutes just to allow that steam to cook the rice further, then it will be done to perfection. Okay, so that's our two minutes of steam time uh, completed. So 12 minutes in all cooking time. Let's just take this off. So this rice is absolutely perfect. I 
and just tastes delicious. I'd go as far as to say as good if not better than the type of pilau rice you get in the takeaway. So there you go, Indian curried rice dish, absolutely delicious, really easy to make. Please subscribe to the channel and as usual if you've enjoyed this particular video hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.